Hello everyone, it's Sean and welcome back to Having Fun Repairs. Seems we got more laptops to work on, so let's get to it. This uh, laptop, or should I say MacBook book, came via an outreach to my wife. I think one of her reps uh, to assist her with her, with her own business. But uh, fairly straightforward on, on this one. I have to take this case off. In that case is, I think it's seen better days, but fairly straightforward issue on this one. We have a charge port issue, and she was able to tell me that MagSafe, uh, I guess, was dropped while in there. And uh, looking for me to inspect it, we can see some physical damage on the chassis of the uh, MacBook as well. Looking for me to inspect it, uh, see if it can be repaired or if it needs to be replaced. Uh, I'm going to try to salvage what I can so as to not replace it, but uh, we'll get this uh, this casing off of this MacBook. Not even sure what model it is. I guess we'll MacBook Air. And uh, we'll just go from there. So let me get this apart. And not too hard to take apart. Just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten screws. Of course, take note that the upper two middle screws are a longer screw, so we don't want to confuse those. But we've got the charge port right over here. Before I do any other removing, what I'm going to do is disconnect our battery pack. Okay. Now with that disconnected, I'll start working my way around the board, uh, removing this ribbon cable. Oh, we'll see if I can remove this or if it's got to come out with the remainder of the board. I do see some screws over here that can get removed and then one more uh, little cable sitting right here. So I'll start getting it disassembled and come back and let you know what we had to do. All right, so quite a bit more things had to come out. A little ribbon cable here. Needed to remove the fan just to make some wiggle room. So that will go in this cable goes around the fan, fits into this board right here. But uh, a couple more screws, but you can kind of see that physical damage right there. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, desolder this connector and just take a look at the pins once it's desoldered. All right, so I simply just used my uh, hot air gun, mounted that in this little vise here hung it over my desk and removed the uh, connector. I've already pinned out with my uh, multimeter set to uh, diode test, uh, set to test diodes and all these, if we can focus, all these pins make continuity straight through to where they are here. So that's all testing good. I do want to prod around the board a little bit. So, this should be ground plane from here to here, and it is. But these first two pins should also be ground. All right, now, next two inner pins should be what carries our voltage. And we're getting a 0.6 voltage drop. Center pin should be like a connect data pin or something, 0.7 voltage drop. So this is really, this is looking okay to me. Yeah, this side, I don't think we have any blown components on this side either. Put that on ground, just. Yeah, I think we're okay. So what I'm gonna do is just straighten out the pins on here and get them cleaned up. Fill, clean out the holes on here and get this resoldered into the board.
got it all back in and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just check for continuity between the pins on the connector and then down here let's first check all the ground points they're good all right now let me check from here should be ground that should be ground 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 up and through there all right let's check out our voltage pin that appears to be good we got voltage pin over there too and that's good and then the center pin all right so last thing for me to do is just get it all back together and then we'll uh test out the laptop itself or macbook okay so i've got it put together good enough to test and really um let me see if i can zoom out turn this flashlight off yeah, i don't know how much of that was recorded uh, anyways uh really before i finish uh putting this back together i just kind of want to give this a uh, a test i've got it together good enough to test but uh we're we need to test this charge port See if we get a charge light. And uh, yeah, green fan spin. We got a charge indication. Okay. And of course, uh, me moving it's going to cause it to fall out. But there we go. Back on green charge light. We see a thing we saw screen for a second. Let's see if it'll turn on. Don't the Apple props generally turn themselves on? Mm -hmm. Let's try that button right there. Wait, right, there we go. And yeah, we got the Apple logo. I'll need to blur out the name, but uh, this is looking good enough to finish. Uh, your screen's worse for the wear. Looking good enough to uh, button up together, and we can close out this video. And there we go. Again, about 4% of charge. I had it on here for just a few minutes. Now up to 5. So I have no doubt that this is going to fully charge now. And that uh, customer is going to be really happy with this uh, laptop. MacBook. Sorry, excuse me. Um, being put back together. I did my best as well to kind of mold back the frame here where it was all bit, bent up and everything but yeah um message the customer uh invoice them and uh ship this back so for those of you who joined in thank you for watching hopefully you enjoyed this little repair video i don't do uh laptops and cell phones often um primarily especially when I don't have a microscope. It makes it a whole lot harder to work on them. But uh, you know, I used to do them all the time before I started this channel. It's just, you know, when you don't have the world's steadiest hands and all the small components can be a bit more challenging. And rightfully so, that's just how the name of the game. But, uh, but you know, when this one just a charge port issue, kind of like the previous one, along with the bad screen on the previous one. But uh, yeah, I'm rambling. It's time to close out. Thank you for watching. Take care and goodbye. Mark?